Hello and welcome back to Vlogmas. If this is your first time, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and let's get on to making this hoop skirt. So we're going to start by getting our waist measurement. I don't make it too snug. I like to sit down to make sure I have it big enough. We're not making an elastic waistband, so make sure you have it loose enough that you can sit, but not so loose that it's shifting around on you. After that, you're going to add a three inches. That's two inches for ease and an inch for seam allowance. And we're going to make this a strip and it's going to be five inches thick. That's so that we can have a two inch waistband. Uh, I am on the fold here, so I should have only made it two and a half inches. I made it the full five, realized my mistake, fixed it. So once you have your waistband, you're going to lay it flat and create a half inch hem, basically. You're folding in the top and folding in the bottom. Press it all nice and flat. This is to protect the raw edges so that way they go inside the waistband and we don't get fraying. Once that's done, you're going to do the same thing to the shorter ends. Again just protecting those raw edges. After you've done this to all three ends, just fold it back in half, press it nice and flat again, and you're ready to go. Once everything is nice and pressed in, all the raw edges are protected, we're gonna sew up the ends. Do not sew it together, we're not creating a loop, we're just protecting the ends, sewing it shut, but then we're leaving the long seam open. We need some kind of closure. You could use a little a hook, a button, snaps, a drawstring. I just chose a button, created a little buttonhole. Do not show that because it's complicated and I'm not very good at it, but you use whatever you know how to. Once it's all ready, put it on and measure from the waistband to the floor so you know how long this skirt needs to be. Um, and then make sure to add two inches for each hoop that you're going to add. With that measurement, you're going to create eight strips of that length. Um, my strips are just two inches. You might want to make them bigger so you can create like an actual tube. I just folded in the edges. You could do a rolled hem. You could just fold regular hems. You just want to protect it from fraying. So I'm going to do that to all four edges of each strip. Super tedious, but it's important. So now we're going to take those strips and add them to the halfway points, then the quarter points, then the eighth points of the waistband. I'm just pinning them down in place. Once they're all pinned in place, I'm going to sew along that long seam, double securing the strap strips in place so that they don't go anywhere. They are what's holding up the hoop. You want them to be sturdy. You don't want the weight of the hoops to pull those out. So I do a double stitch. So now it's time to start placing our hoops. Uh, first, you're going to determine where you want your first hoop to go, and then you're going to measure that distance from the waistband to wherever that first point is. For me, that's eight inches down from the waistband. So what we're going to do is measure out to the eight inch point, and then we're going to mark the inch above and below. So I'll draw a mark at seven and a mark at nine, and I'm going to mark this on every strip. Once these strips are marked, I'm just pressing the points up to each other and pinning them in place. After every strip has been pinned into place, I'm going to then sew along that spot 
on all of these strips to create the first loop at the exact same point on every single strip that we created. So it should look a little bit like this, just a strip with a loop on it, sticking straight out of it. You're going to repeat that for every hoop that you want to have on your skirt. I have four hoops, so four loops. Any of the strip that's left just hanging down, fold it up, stitch it into place, because you don't want this dragging on the floor. So we're going to use this 3 eighths of an inch water tubing. It's milky white. You can find it at most home improvement stores. Uh, it's going to take a lot of manipulating to get it to the shape that it needs to be. You can press it out, you can use heat, whatever you need to do. Determine how big you want your hoop, cut it, and just slide it on through those loops. Um, it's probably going to change its shape. It takes a while before it holds that hoop shape. So just slide it through, secure it into place, and then you can manipulate it again. Um, to secure it, just take a three inch piece of that tubing, split it along the middle, and snap it over the two ends of your hoop. And then you can use duct tape to really keep it on there to make sure it doesn't pop off or anything. And then you will just repeat that process for every hoop that you're adding onto your skirt. Um, if it keeps coming back up, like my one of my hoops keeps popping back up, um, just throw some weight on it, heat it back up with a blow dryer, manipulate it as much as you need to, just get it into place. That is going to be it for today's vlogmas video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and Join us while we finish up this New Year's Eve ball gown. Bye, thanks for watching.